Should Christians drink wine? Is it a sin or is it something that Christians probably ought to avoid whenever possible? Hey, smart Christians, there's one question that does come up from time to time, and that is dealing with alcohol, alcoholic consumption. Should a person, should a Christian be able to drink wine? Uh, if so, under what context? Is it a sin? Well, before we go to whether a Christian ought to drink wine, one of the other questions that we also need to bring up is, did Jesus actually drink wine himself? Now, I'll start off by saying that, no, it is not a sin. It is not a prohibition for Christians to drink wine. It'd be, it'd be kind of odd to think that a Christian should not, a believer, a believer should not drink wine when we do see certain passages where Jesus even turns, obviously where Jesus turns water into wine. In 2 John 2.10, 2, we see that Jesus turns water into wine. And so it'd be kind of odd to think that it would be a sin if Jesus created from water, turning water into wine, would create the very thing that he would outlaw or prohibit. That's just not in keeping with him. And then also we look and see where Paul tells Timothy in 1 Timothy 5.23, he says, uh, let's see, he says, let's start in 22. Do not be hasty in the laying on of hands, nor take part in the sins of others. Keep yourself pure. But then he says, no longer drink only water, but use a little wine for the sake of your stomach and for your frequent ailments. One of the things that used to happen for us growing up in the, uh, in the Midwest, and this was obviously in the, some time ago, about 40, 50 years ago, in the 70s, we would get a teaspoon or tablespoon of alcohol during the winter I guess, I don't know if, if, if it's actually true, but our parents would think that maybe it would kind of help ward off sickness and colds and things like that, dealing with the, the cold winter weather. So I don't know if there's any scientific truth to that, but they would give us that for that reason, kind of settle the stomach as well. And so, again, you could not say that it is a sin to say drinking wine. Now, is there different types of wine, the different types of fermentation, the different types of alcoholic content, how strong something is. Well, that's debatable because there is no real uh, clear definition between what types of wine. Is it the hard, strong stuff? The it, Obviously, that varies over time uh, and how the process is done. But the fact of the matter is the question is, can a Christian drink wine? Well, sure they can. Now, the prohibition is not to be drunk. Going to Ephesians 5, 8, Paul says, and do not get drunk with wine, for it is debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit. Now, in this passage, he's, he's contrasting the, the self-control, the control aspect of, of the Spirit versus not having control in being drunk with wine. Don't do that. Now, is that to say that we should not drink wine? Well, no, he's just saying don't get drunk with wine. That's all. So now the other question is going to be, well, did Jesus actually drink wine himself? We know that he turned water into wine. But when we go and look at him during the Passover celebrations, we don't see Jesus actually drinking the wine at that at that time. For example, in, in Matthew 26, 27, he says, and he took a cup and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them saying, drink of it, all of you, for this is the blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the sins of for the forgiveness of sins. And I tell you, I will not drink again of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my father's kingdom. Now, so we don't actually see him taking a drink, but do we know for sure if Jesus actually drank? Well, part of the key is in what he just said. Let's go back to it. He says, I, I tell you the truth that I will not drink again. Op arty, which is, again, I won't do it again, meaning he's drank before. As a matter of fact, we see him comparing John the Baptist with himself in Luke 7, 33. He says, for John the Baptist has, has come eating no bread and drinking no wine. And you say he has a demon. Then he contrasts in verse 34, the son of man has come eating and drinking. And you say, look at him, a glutton and a drunkard. So, yes, Jesus drank wine. Obviously, it was not the kind of wine to get drunk. Jesus did not have a, a brown paper bag with a, with a bottle inside. That was not the point. Some of this stuff was cultural. Uh, but even today, people will drink wine in certain cultures across the, across the world, not to get drunk, not to be inebriated, not to be just a drunkard. And that was not who Jesus was. So can a Christian drink wine? 
Sure. Now, I myself, I don't drink wine. I've never liked the taste of it. Never. It's just never done anything for me. And so for that reason, because I don't like it, I don't drink it. Uh, but can, I, can any other Christian drink wine? Sure. Would it be a sin? Absolutely not. Did Jesus drink? Yes, he did. Did he get drunk? No. Are you to get drunk? No. And that's the point. The point is to be under with all your faculties in intact and to be in full control of yourself and be under the control, not being drunk in the spirit, but to be controlled, self-controlled under the guise of the Holy Spirit. So friends, I hope that helps someone ask that question. And so uh, hopefully that kind of clears it up. And if anyone else has any questions in the future, feel free to send me an email and maybe we'll tackle that question in a video. Amen.